No freebie? No freebie? Sorry, my, my uh, voice went ultrasonic then. Hello everyone, welcome to another video and welcome to the beautiful Watkins Glen where we're going to be doing a GT4 race. Now this race has got the who's who of sim racing in here. We've got Shane Van Gisbergen, we've got Dan Suzuki, we've got Slavin Prezina and we've got Robert Corey. Now I wasn't going to upload this one because it didn't go as I'd hoped but there was actually some really good racing in this one so you're getting it anyway. So we have qualified for this one pretty badly, P13 with a 154.788. Really close in front, really close behind. It's anybody's in the mid-pack. Now, at any point during this video, if you do like it, please remember, click on the like button. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. There is a talking point in this race that I'm going to need your help with in the comments. So 15 minutes around Watkins Glen. Oh, we're driving. The brand new Mercedes, racing this for the first time. Let's get on track. If we survive this, I will be so surprised. It's not going to happen. Car number 17 in the left column. The who's who with sim racing in here. Look at the my main man, Robert Corey, on pole. Shane Van Gisbergen. Dan Suzuki. Slavin Prisina. Christian Ortega. And many more. It's got carnage written all over it. I'm not even joking. It's got carnage written all over it. But I haven't done a lot of practice, right? That's my excuse out the way, first of all. Well, I have done a bit of practice, but I've jumped between the Aston Martin, the BMW, and the Mercedes. And I've chosen the Mercedes Catch up to car number just because 17. I think it rotates a little bit better. But we'll do the best we can, see how we get on. What's the worst that could happen? But it's a full pace lap here at Watkins Glen, so I won't bore you with that, so we'll come back when we're going to go green. Right, here we go then. We're going to have to hope for some freebies, because my pace isn't great. So fingers crossed for some freebies. <laughs> we're going to need... A bit of luck, honestly. This has got carnage written all over it. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Look. It's already tense. Okay, Dave. Get ready. Go, go, go. 15 minutes left. Car left. Hold your line. Oof. Hold your line. Still there. You're still there. Clear left. Nothing I could do there. Right side. You're in the middle. Clear left. Clear all around. Starts okay. Let's get stuck in. On your right. Still there. You're still a clear right. Oh. On your right. Clear right. Sorry, sorry. Car right. Uh oh. Still there. Right. Car right. Clear right. Oh, jeez. The Merc's a little bit slidey though, I must say. I have no idea where we are. Oh, I'm just here. Yeah, I've no idea where we are. 
No idea. Christian got a, a good start there. He's up a couple of few positions actually. Well, that's Brad, no? So P9. We've got Thomas in draft behind. Bravo, stupid, bravo. These two guys are going to get racing in front. We don't want to lose touch with these guys in front. I know it's only a 15 minute race, but... We want to be in the fight, don't we? Antoine's probably going to have a go at Christian soon. Dan's just a couple of places up. Dan's uh, pretty quick. If we can keep up with this pack, then I'm happy. We definitely don't want to lose draft. See a thing. Come on boys, somebody make a move. Somebody make a move, make something happen. Okay Dave, 10 minutes to go, that's 10 minutes left. E9. They're fighting up ahead though. I'm trying. Oh, <laughs> Christian. That was tight. That was tight. Still there. He's still there. Hold your 
Watch your line. Oh! You're in the middle. Clear all round. No. Oh. Did I squeeze him out there? We'll, we'll have a look at that after the race. Maybe did. Might have been my fault. We'll have a look after the race. All right, Dave. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. On your right. Right side's clear. Thankfully, the car feels all right, though. Now we've got Slaven Prusina in front. Balkan on Twitch. We've got to beat Slaven. We've got to beat Slaven. That was a weird crash, that. That was a weird crash. D20. Don't be pressured. Keep your exit speeds up. Yeah, the car doesn't seem too bad, unless the rear is damaged. See what we're like in a straight line. Left, clear left. Go on, Lawrence, get back. Still there. Clear right. Right, Slavin. This would kind of go some way to making me feel a bit better if we could overtake Slavin. Although he's up seven, he's obviously going really well. All right, Dave. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. He's got a good run. Look at that. Still there. Look at that. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. He's still there. Still there. Oh, we're going to get mugged off for you. Right, let's go again. Let's go again. That was a 156 
1.9. Luckily, car left. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. Okay, Dave. Don't let this guy distract you. Well, it's all kicking off behind. <laughs> the gap in front is now 5.1. Right, we'll have to remember to look at that instant with Christian. I do feel really bad. I do feel bad. I think I might have just drifted out a little bit too far on exit. I'll apologise to him, of course. That's wide. Last lap. Can we hold on to P18? Damage limitation. 18th. Last lap. Oh, I'm just here. Don't think it's close enough. I'm going to send into the bus stop. This is where we see if we've got damage or not though. Point four. Point two. Oh. Yellow flag. Uh oh. No freebie, no freebie. Oh, we're 17th now, though. Sorry, my, my uh, voice went ultrasonic then. Good fun, this, though. Good fun. Surely we've got to get a freebie on these last few turns. What are we? No, it says P18 now. Where are we? Where did we finish? 16th place. 16th? We're done. Right, let's have a look at the incident with Christian, first of all. Right, so let's have a look at the incident with Christian. So there he is, the number nine car. So we get alongside going down into this tight right. Now, you can look at this a couple of ways. We'll just look at it first of all. Now, you could say that I opened up the steering maybe a fraction too early and drifted out towards the outside of the track. Or you could say that Christian turned in a little bit too sharply and didn't give us room. But if we look at the previous left turn, you see how much room I gave Christian who was on the inside. I didn't pinch him in. But unfortunately, that's what happens when you do pinch somebody in. The contact is inevitable. There's a good two foot there at all times. I give him loads of room. Then you compare this to this turn. 
but it just squeezes me right in there. And for me, that's just one of those things. That's just a racing incident. Two cars trying to occupy the same piece of track. Move on to the incidents proper now. There was, yeah, there was something into turn one. Oh. Did everybody survive that? I don't think so. What's going to happen here? Oh, just a bit of contact. Nothing really. Just going to be jumping curbs. Oh, it's a sideways Aston. Yeah. He's done. Oh, that's a send. That's a send by that McLaren. Jeez. Who carries on his merry way. Jeez. Oh. Thankfully, it was just him that got uh, turned there. Oh, and the other guy. He was having a nightmare. Send. You got it done. Don't scrape the inside barrier there. That's out of shape. That's out of shape. That's out of shape. Has he saved it? No, he has not. Oh, blimey, number 24. He wanted through there, didn't he? Brightly. Oh, this might not end well. Now they all got through. There's Christian. What's going to happen here? He's going to send it, isn't he? Oh dear. Oh, he's had a shocker. <laughs> Number 24. He's gone backwards more than forwards. Oh, skipped that one too quickly. McLaren getting out of shape. Mm. Forced by the Mercedes though. No, 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 no. Is he stuck? Yes, yeah, stuck. Right, this is me and Christian. Yeah, I still don't know how to call that one, you know. Let me know in the comments. Oof, crikey, that was close. What was that? Wall scrapes. No one wall scrapes. That's what we want. That's what we came here for. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it moved out the way to let somebody by and then got absolutely annihilated. Must have been why I gained two positions at the end. Oh, blimey. Take that after the line. And that's it. Right, let's look at the results. Right, so there were four splits for this one. This was top split. Strength of field, 3,626. So, as expected, we lost safety rating and I rating losing 35. So Shane got the win, Ferran P2 and Dan managed to get on the podium. We finished P16, car number 7 started P13.
three instant points. So I'm a bit surprised that we lost safety rating with three instant points, but hey ho, that's the way it goes. So who was the biggest winner? Well, it looks like it's the guy in P2, Ferran. He gained 103, and the biggest loser is Christian. He lost 93. So there we go, finished P16 after all that. That was a really good race, that one. I did jump into um, Christian's stream and apologise, and Christian was all good. He knows it wasn't intentional, but let me know down below in the comments what you think. Safety rating loss, which I expected, and an I rating loss as well. So, not a good day, really. But a good race, that one. I really enjoyed it. It was nice racing with Slaven. Doesn't happen very often, because he's usually right at the back. So, if you did like the video, please remember, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good week. See you later. Cheers.